Mama and the babies are graduating to the big pen. To the big pen. Oh. Yeah, what are we going to do for shelter? I have a tarp over there, and I think I'll put a tarp. Along the back? Yeah. I have a part of a tarp, so we'll put it up there, and I'll hook it up so that it's around this post, uh -huh. and that way the water will drip. Drip down, and it'll go across that post there. Alright. Alright, let's get everything moved in, and uh... Yeah, this is half filled. So that's going to last them a long time. Yeah, well, see, I was using it. I filled up their feeder, so that feeder that's in there will give that to the bantams. All right, that'll work. You want to bring the hose over here? I'm going to dump this water and add. Sure. Well, the babies aren't going to be able to get to that. Yeah, we'll have to get one of the other water. Um, the brown one. All right. Turkey wrangling time. A warning. <laughs> Mama is going to be pissed at you. Oh, she is. Just set her in there. Yeah, that latch thing. No, no, just do the top one. All right. Now you're going to get the babies. Yeah. Okay. Change of plans. We had to put mama and the babies back into the tractor because the babies are still able to slip out. Still able to slip out of here. I gotta take that cord and we just spent the last half hour chasing baby turkeys around our homestead. So okay. we are exhausted and, and Amy is aggravated. Aggravated. <laughs> Her head was about to explode. She actually used some expletives to describe the turkeys. <laughs> so, this is going to have to wait for a little bit. We're going to have to get hardware cloth and just wrap the bottom of this, but... We're going to have to make a bigger if run. If we're going to make this into like a, a grow-up type brooder thing, we're going to have to. I think what we're going to do is we're going to come right over here. And we're going to get hard with some hardware cloth and build a brooder, uh, you know, a uh, mama pen here just for the ones that are broody. So, yeah, look at her. Her heads are about to explode. I'm... I told you we should have clipped her wings. Mm. <laughs> oh... When I see that grin like that, I know she's ready to shoot me. <laughs> no, the problem is, it's, oh, you know, women don't like to admit it when a man's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Well, we're going to get on with some other tasks. We're behind, so I guess we're behind now. We we're way finish. behind. So these guys are not going to be able to go into the bigger brooder. No, but we need to move them and we need to get them fresh food and water. So they are next and they need fresh hay up top. Yeah. So they're next. Since we got that fixed, I just got to get the water or the water in there. Mom and the babies are done. They're next. And then we're going down the line. <laughs> what you doing, Mr. Turtle? Hi, baby. You're pretty. Where are you going?
Well, you got a long neck. But well, guys, the morning chores are done. Animals are fed. And I'm back to working on the camper. This was an old camper that me and Braden used to go camping with. And, and uh, I'm converting it over to hold the feed. I mean, cleaning it out. We've been storing a bunch of stuff. All this is uh, either going to go into the other shed or get donated. So I got it stacked up in front here. We're going to put feed bags in here. It's going to be uh, my feed trailer for right now. Until now, we've been having all the feed in the house, and that's that's just not feasible. It takes up too much room, and it's a mess. So we're going to be using this camper to hold our feed, make it a lot easier, and it's out here closer to the animals, so I'm not carrying it so far every morning and stuff. And the turkeys are doing great. Our guinea that showed up, our little rescue here, he's doing pretty good in his pen. He's lonely. We may have to find us another guinea. But uh, he's doing good. We got Mama back in here with Mr. Turkey. So Mama and Mr. Turkey are back in here. The uh, our little bantam chicks are moved on a little higher ground with all this rain going, and our baby turkeys they're all sitting up there on the roost, they're doing great in their little cage. Probably next weekend, we'll be putting them <laughs> in with our grow out in our grow out pen with the other turkeys. So we can decide which ones we want to keep. <laughs> Clyde, are you getting tangled up? We're trying to clean out. I'm going to burn up some of this stuff. That's why I got cardboard out here. I'm going to drag it out and burn some of this wood. Clyde, you're supposed to be over here eating this grass. What are you doing in that? You getting yourself all tangled up? Come on, baby. Oh, you got yourself tangled up. I gotta get this cleaned up. Come on, buddy. Look at this mess. So I got Clyde all untangled, but for some reason he really wants this stuff over here. He usually eats the grapevines. They really love these grapevines here. What you doing, Clyde? Come here, buddy. You gonna let me pet, pet you or are you gonna be? He wants attention, but then he gets scared. Come on, Clyde, come here. Come here, buddy. I'll scratch your head for you. Come here. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. Once you start petting him, he's all right. Ain't that right, Clyde? You good boy, Clyde, huh? You good boy? He loves his head pet, don't you? He likes a good scratch. Likes a good scratch. All right, eat some stuff up for me. I know you're little, you don't eat that much yet. Oh, really? Hopefully we're wanting to get some premier fencing so that we can put some fencing out and just fence in an area and let them eat it up. He's kind of just a little grazer. 
He tries everything. Amy's out there mowing some grass. It's finally stopped raining enough so that she can actually mow. You saw my passion fruit cuttings that I took a while back, a video we did back. They are doing great. They've all rooted up nicely and they're growing great. Well, we will be, uh, I'll be taking these to market soon. All right, guys. Bringing the feed out here to the, to our feed trailer now. Went from being a camping trailer to a feed trailer. Made me a little bridge to get across the flooded area until I can get a culvert in here. You look like you're ready to drive that thing. We I, need to get the riding mower fixed. Yes, we do. Just that little culvert there. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, here we go. Already got several bags in here. We got hog feed and chicken feed. And I'm also this can here. This has our gate goat feed. Um, we got some alfalfa nuggets and scratch. We keep in this trash can, but moisture still. It kind of leaks moisture. So we're gonna put that in the camper too to keep it in the dry. Hopefully this will keep the mice out of it. Uh-oh, can I get it in the door? That's the question. Ah. I got it in barely, but I got it in. It barely fits. I had to take the lid off of it. All this, most of this stuff here is all going to get donated to the Boys and Girls Club. That's why I haven't taken it out for, for trash. Most of this stuff has been in here for five years. I haven't used it. And we haven't needed it. So it's going to get donated. We might use the Christmas tree though. I'm not sure. This is a seven foot. We don't need no seven foot tree. I won't be able to put the star on it. I'm only five two. Well, I could put the star on it for you. You can't help it, you're vertically challenged. I'll take care of it. Oh, I'm in the doghouse now, guys. She does not like that. At least I didn't say you were short and squatty. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, <laughs> um, if you don't, Brother John Cho's not gonna be around for a while. Yeah, if you don't see me in the next video, you, you know what happened. <laughs> I got plenty of land. I know where to hide the bodies. Wow. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. That is a, I think that's a lynx. That's a lynx spider. That's a nice one. Ooh, that's a big fat one. Yeah, see the ones over here are a little bit nicer. I'm tossing them over to the uh, little ones. I'm kind of, I've seen a bunch of little ones. Well, remember, these are the newer vines. The older ones are going to be up along the fence. But that's also where the water's at. Remember, this wasn't covered before. And they've grown up the compost bin here. And these things freak me out. They rub against my legs. Don't make it. 
See, now here's something. What is that? You see the bubbles? Yeah. I don't know. There's another one. See if there's an animal in there. Like eggs or anything? Mm -mm. I don't know what that is. All right, do you think we got enough? How many we got over there? I don't know. I lost. I didn't keep count. Hold on. Let's make our way back over here. I was tossing them. Okay. Watch your stuff there. Yeah, there's enough. And then there's a... So we got yeah. what? We got more than enough for dinner. Yep. You got nice big hands. <laughs> Don't you be touching my doorknob. <laughs> I'm gonna have to open the door. <laughs> Let's oh, see. God. You happy? Oh yeah. Cool. Let's go. Uh... Let's go start dinner. Yeah. Hey guys, if you like that video, hit that like button, remember that bell, and subscribe. And if you want to see any of the other videos, check out everything over here.